So quite often people have this, um, let's, let's call it like partial understanding of swimming as being like a floating body with arms like going in the water like this and just like pushing water and this is how you move towards the other wall or towards, I don't know if you swim in a lake or something like this. Um, so in order for it to be homogeneous, you can think actually of your arm as, as, as being like a big tent, which starts like from the sternum all around the rib cage, in the back and so on, more like um, sheets and less like sticks, something like this. And another thing is um, sometimes when people think of being flexible or um, being able to move some kind of, you know, uh, am I able to move my rib cage with respect to my pelvis? Sometimes people think of it as being isolated. So you try and separate things, but actually when you swim, you need to make it coherent. So you need parts to move together. It's, 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 uh, it's maybe, maybe that's the whole point, like move together doesn't mean that they move in the same direction. <laughs> 